Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosive. One, Jonas, you were the man on the sticks. I have the stick in my hand. And we're playing Madden 20, the Dolphamite Saga continues. Oh my god, we're cruising for a bruising. Jonas is good and warmed up. Am I? Yeah, man, you just spoke for like a good 20 minutes straight. I had good stories, dude. <laughs> it was good stories, yeah, man. but you are warmed up, huh? Yeah, dude. I, I haven't to... talked all day. I don't talk it all day. To... Oh, my God. I did nothing but talk all day. Wait, do your intro. What? Your intro. You're missing it. Oh, wait. No, dude. We, we don't do that for this one. We don't say using the balance no, playbook? No, no, dude. No. Oh, really? Yeah, not, <laughs> not, not, not a Dolphamite. Yeah, dude. Oh, I didn't this know. Is, this is Everybody your story, my friend. This is the TNT Dynamite story. We don't need... That's and we are playing on all Madden, but... Yeah, that's Mr. Dynamite to you, Mr. sir. Wow, excuse me, Mr. But yeah, Dynamite. But yeah, you, you did, man. You went off. And I spoke all day. It sucks. I hate yeah, speaking. dude, I mean, I got stories to tell now. Uh, quit my job today, Jonas. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> 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 like for real? Like for real? <laughs> oh my god! Wow, uh, folks, <laughs> I don't, I did not know this before we started. Yeah, I just was like, you know what? You, it comes a point in a man's life where he has to realize that he's not happy at the place he is. Yeah. And to do the same thing on a daily, on a day-to-day -day basis, and just. Live in that unhappiness. It's not good for but you. But was man. there not a moment you could have went back to the old job you did that you did like? Uh, I didn't really care for that. I just liked the schedule. I hated. Oh, the, I, I hated the job. Do you really have prospects it. or like? Uh, no, not really. But I got a month. So. Wow, so you're going to be around the house a lot. We can hang no, out. No, what are you talking about? I'm still working there for a month. Oh, I thought you meant you like just quit. Like no. you're just like, you know what? F it. I'm out. Oh my God, John. What are you trying? I didn't think you would do that. That's why I was surprised. I was hoping there was a story behind it. Absolutely not. No, there's honestly, man, there is no story. I just been, I've been mulling it over and I had a talk with a friend of mine and they told me it's like, you know, sometimes you just got to jump out the window. And I understand that, you know, and I've, I've, I've quit jobs before. With my position, I'm not going to have any difficulty finding jobs. I already have some prospects. Yeah, yes. yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I did quit my job. So that happened. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm happy for you because, I mean, you've been doing that job for, what, like two years? Two years. And then... Uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm sure it's probably ran its course because I know from the beginning you were never like ecstatic about it, but it worked. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and the schedule was amazing. My oh. schedule, my schedule was, I gotta tell the listeners. Yeah, tell, yeah, tell, up, so up until recently. I would work from, what was it, like six in the morning till five, six o'clock at night. That's like a 12 hour shift. Right. 11, 12 hour shift. Right. But uh, a lot of it was driving around. I had free. No, I was not delivering pizzas, you sons of bees. Right? <laughs> well, who's ordering pizzas 6 a.m., bro? <laughs> you never know. Yeah, man. I guess that's true. But either way, and then I would work, uh, what was it, like Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I would have off Tuesday, and I would work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, so, so that's one week you would be, well, you would work the whole week except Tuesday, and the yeah. following week you would only work Tuesday. Essentially six 12s in one week. And then, Which is a lot. But that next week was yeah. like heaven. And then you would just flip it. So then I would only work on that too. Yeah, it was it was great, but I didn't really care for the the job. Itself. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. All right, cool. Yeah, so I'm good, man. I'm getting nice, up out of there before before it just gets to me. Yeah, yeah. You're like I already don't like it. Before I like just want to like lose my ish, I'm gonna um, walk away. Yeah, man. There's nothing worse than like feeling like actual anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> when you get off. Or when you job. wake up in the morning. Oh my god, it would hit me so. We've hard, all been dude. there, dude. Like. Oh my god. I think everyone has been to the point where they had a job where you where you wake up in the morning on Monday morning and you yeah. go, oh, like yeah. the it, dread of life, dude. Exactly, and it, it. I feel like it's been affecting my mood outside of the home or like outside of the workplace as well. Oh yeah. Because I'm just like I don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. And it's is, never been this bad. Which is weird because I've got you out of the house to do more than you have in, t in the two years you've lived here. And you, you say, have. Yeah, and you say that you want to talk to people less. I know, and I feel but like... it's circumstantial. It really, it really is, man. Yeah. I've never really been a super talkative person no. anyway. But I've you, you've seen at parties before. You've seen me and... We've known each other since I was like 16. Yeah, it's so a you, long time, yeah. Like, so you've seen... You've seen me. I know like you can be the most social person. You can be more social than me, which is hard. Yeah, like I used to go entire days where I would be disappointed if nobody called me because I usually had like... Back in Ashtabula, I had like three sets of friends that I could hang out right. with. Yeah, so somebody was always hitting you up. Yeah, it was always either like you, Todd, uh, Zachariah, uh -huh. and those guys, or it was Wayne McNulty. Yeah. <laughs> or it was... The ICP guy. Or it was Mitch. Or the oh, and the ICP guys? Yeah, dude, you had another yeah, one. Yeah, I did have them. Yeah, the dude. second generation. Do you remember? <laughs> They were like the second generation of me and Zachariah. <laughs> they and were. And they, but they branched off in their own ICP. Yeah, yeah, they did. And that, I mean, that's cool. Yeah, I did hang out with them, the ICP guys. I mean, that's kind of what they were, right? I used to listen to so much ICP with them, I hated it. Yeah, dude, I mean, it happens. They were like, we're going to put on Tunnel of Love. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, sometimes they'd mix it up and put on Twisted. Twisted. Oh, look at this guy. Rumbling, stumbling, bumbling. Well, you better accept this flag. I know that much. I got, no, I may have to get the to get the touchdown. <laughs> no, just take that 15 yards down on him. No, dude, I want to win. <laughs> yeah, but, no, dude, well, I'm happy for you. I hope you find something that you want to do. Yeah. It had to happen, man. I feel really good about it. It's like, to everybody else, it just kind of came, like, out of the blue, but. I'm not surprised that you told me that today. Like, I mean, I'm a little surprised because, like, it came out of nowhere, but at the same time, I'm not surprised he told me that today. Yeah, yeah. It's been on my mind. Man. Yeah, and uh, well, and the good thing, too, is like you said, you have like the month on that. Plus, mm. if, you, if you haven't found something you want, it's almost tax time. You'll get a tax return, so you'll get extra money if you have to wait a little bit longer than... Yeah, hopefully, but I, I won't have to. I'm, I'm, I'm stacked right now. I'm good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I go in and I have a talk with my boss, the vice president of the company. And I'm like, uh, so I know my supervisor told you that I, uh, I quit today. And she's like, yep. And she's like, you know what? You've already done more than I ever expected you to do here. <laughs> she was like, you're good with me. I understand that you got to go find that out there for yourself. And I was like, okay. I really, I respected that. And then I was like, I can't take you when you're being nice. I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> I can't take you being nice and sweet to me. <laughs> I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> he was like, I always consider you family. I was like, oh, my heart, dude. I can't take that kind of stuff, man. I can't. Yeah. I'm not good with emotions, all right? Yeah, I know. You're like, the, the sub are real. Exactly, man. I'm a big gorilla. I can't be feeling feels and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I feel you, man. I, uh... Yeah, that's cool though. Well, I mean, like, yeah, it's good that you were cool with her because she definitely helped you out. Exactly. Yeah. You so, ever, you, you so like, oh, so so you have another boss from her in between you two? Yeah, because she she got a promotion. So right. Now she's yeah, yeah, in, yeah. So, yeah, I have a direct supervisor, and then this woman like is, was yeah, so nice to me is like second in command of the company currently. Right. right. Yeah. So we're, we're cool. I know who that is. And like, I remember she told Yo, I'm, you know, it's crazy because I'm super cool with everybody. And, like, I don't know, man. I haven't told anybody. I told one person. Yeah. Well, dude, that's, that's like the, especially if you're staying like a whole month. It's just like, it's awkward, man. Like, it's better not to tell until right, like, when it's happening. You know? That's the way I see it. Yeah, dude, I can't, like, I, I don't, I'm not a big, like, because I don't want people to be like, oh, man, only three weeks left. Oh, man. Only, oh, let's all go out to dinner at the Mexican place. And, like, they will do that. Oh, I'm sure they will. Yo, they're going to throw a party. <laughs> you should just not go in that day. You should call off. <laughs> Seven hours PTO. I'm using my call off day on the day of the party. Don't you dare throw one. Just tell, just tell your VP if you throw me a party, I'm calling off that day. Oh, you know, right? I should. Then she just won't tell you what day it's going to be. Exactly. She'll just have it. Be, oh, it's not your party. It's the special party. Right. I kind of feel like I'm doing this at a bad time, though. What's that? 
because I just realized that my PTO is about to roll over. You're about to get two new weeks of PTO? Yeah. You can use that up. And yeah. then, how am I going to use them? You can't, dude. I mean, you can. And you can't. No, I'm real. Yo, I'm going to see if I can get that cashed out. I'm sorry. We're seriously just talking like W-2s right now. Jonas, you ever walk out of a job like that? Just like, well, have you ever just like walked out of a job? I have never quit mid-shift. Yeah. I, ha I have quit a job after one shift because it was a joke. Mm -hmm. We talked about that, I think, recently. Yeah. Where it was like that, where I'd like call like for the collect donation. Yeah, I remember yeah, I that. Just, I was just like, this is, I'm, I would rather not. We know you never went into the DJ job. Never, yeah, never went into the DJ That's job. That's a good one. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I was, yeah, when, when the guy interviewing you asks if you do math, or tells you that he does math, it's probably a good, uh, good call to not stay. <laughs> I don't know why, Jones. You knew plenty of people who did not. Not then I didn't. Yeah. No, dude, I lived in Youngstown. Then. You knew people who did. <laughs> oh, maybe I knew of them doing math. <laughs> There's a guy in the corner side that did math. Uh, yeah, most of the, oh, well, I won't say most, but a lot of the people from Ashtabula that you grew up with did math. Yeah, dude. I don't, I just, I don't talk to them. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, though, man. Like, best. I don't know. No, never walked out. Of no, I never walked out of a job, dude. That's good. Man. Yeah, I've had very few jobs for as old as I am. See, most of the jobs I've had, I've stayed at for years. You ballpark me. How many jobs total? Yeah. Uh, or different places of work. I shouldn't say like positions. Not counting like those that one day place and the whatever. Yeah, sure. Enough. Um, places that I've worked. Real not stuff. counting, not counting that one day job. I've had one, two, three. Let's see now if they start to bring Come even on. more exotic pressure. Six jobs? Six? Okay, that is pretty good. Yeah, like almost every job I've had, I've been at for two years now. That's true, because you worked at Wendy's for I worked at, a I worked rip. at Wendy's from the, the day before I turned 16 till, the, till right before I graduated high school. Dang, man. So like two years, and the only reason I quit was because of a family emergency that happened. So you walked out? No, I didn't walk out. No, I mean, I guess the last day I was there, I, I walked out, but it was like because some major stuff went down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, then I worked at, um, I worked at Papa John's delivering pizza, kind of like as like a kind of side hustle, like on and off a little bit. Yeah, I want to hear your first three jobs. And then, because it was Wendy's, <laughs> and then the next job I had, I think, was at Papa John's mm -hmm. delivering pizza. And was it and Taco Bell? No, I never. And then I worked, uh, and I worked at Blockbuster. And I worked at Blockbuster for like four years. Now I can't give you any dates, but I remember my first job was stocking shelves at a at the Giant Eagle, the one oh, wow. that we led Big to Setbrook. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that was my that was my first overnight that or what? I was doing overnights then, which is kind of crazy because I've always been I've always been doing that. And then after that, I worked at Worthington Cylinders. Oh wow, dude! I love that job. I worked there for like a year, fam. I was making bank. I was making like eighteen dollars an hour there as like a kid. As like a kid, yo. And then I remember like. Something where a girlfriend came up and I like it didn't end up going. Eighteen dollars an hour back then is yes. really good money. I was making bank and these cylinders. I was moving like these big. They called them four twenties. They were like two hundred pound cylinders. I would just be like wheeling them, kind of like rolling them on their side, like uh -huh. like rolling a barrel basically. Yeah. And I would just like stock stack them in a place, and a, a truck would come and like pick them up. I did that for like eight hours every night. I was getting so buff. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Man, it was, it was solving all sorts of problems. And everybody was like, yeah, let that big MF handle those, <laughs> those barrels. I remember that place a lot, man. And then my third job, uh, selling shoes at Sears. Oh, wow. I forgot Sears even had a shoe department. You don't remember me working at Sears in the shoe department? I don't. No, in the mall? Wait, maybe. Yeah, I think I may have saw you then. That was before I started working at Aladdin's Castle. I worked in three different places in that mall. I worked at uh, Sears selling shoes. Oh, you worked at the Wendy's on, uh... Yeah, the OG right. Wendy's, dude. Yeah, because then and her, her sister used to work there at the one in the mall. Yeah, whose and sister? Danielle. Yeah, yeah, they both did. Yeah, and Aiden worked there. Yeah, she never worked. Danielle never worked uh, the one I didn't either. It was Squirrely, Soulfly, and... <laughs> and uh, and the and the one girl that I dated for a while. Oh. Her friend. Thing this is the most esoteric conversation. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, it really is. Are. It's really the most esoteric conversation we've had thus far. Yeah, dude, it's cool though. The people are learning a little bit. Yeah, but I worked in three places. I worked at the Mister Heroes in the mall. Yeah, that the is, that was so good. There were some shady peeps at that place. There was, man. I ended up banging this chicken. <laughs> I banged her to walk in, fam. I did. I'm a bad person, dude. No, nah, dude, you're not. I have never spit in anybody's food, though. Yeah, dude. I mean, just because you pull your dick out in the freezer doesn't. <laughs> you can't say that on the video. Yeah, you Joe. can. <laughs> you can, yeah. I did say. I, <laughs> you can't pull your Richard out. You can't pull your Richard out in the freezer. There you go, sir. You could have added a Tracy and we would have been good. Yeah, but you dude, know. I was. I was <laughs> You can't just go swinging your Dick Tracy all over the place. <laughs> yeah, you can toss the Dick Tracy all around the freezer. <laughs> just waving your Dick Tracy around like a helicopter. Yeah, dude, like P- Petey Pablo and stuff. <laughs> yeah, man, it was, it was good stuff, man. It was a uh, yeah, man. That's reminiscent right there, man. Yeah, we we got some we got a, we got a long history. Yeah. Boom, sixty-four to twenty-four. Yeah, dude. Oh, is that <laughs> it's going. It just keeps going up, man. <laughs> they have no chance. We've already embarrassed them to oh, death. Oh yeah, they're bad. Oh, dude, <laughs> oh, yeah, they're bad. yeah, dude. We're just. I mean, it's about the talking. They come to watch us talk. Is that what they do? I don't think so. No. I mean, I don't know, guys. Put in the comments. Like, do you like watching us just destroy teams, or do you like us talking? I mean, we're still going to. We're, we're still going to destroy teams. Yeah. 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 It's, that's going to happen regardless because this team got destroyed. Whether we were talking about the game or talking oh, about... one second left? Oh, man, I can't <laughs> score a little bit. Whether we were to talk about the plays on the field or whether we were to talk about uh, me quitting my job, you know. Yeah, we would have. It's really, it's really up to you, quality versus quantity. There it goes. Can we get one more? Come on, Devontae. Yeah, no, he's out of bounds, man. Yeah. That's all right. Good win. Yeah, dude. Good, good dub. Yep, Jonas, so um, unemployed. Oh, awesome. I mean, you're still employed, technically. <laughs> that guy is out of focus. Yeah, dude, I don't know what happened there. But. That is all the time we have for today's video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content you heard today. If you've already done that, share this stuff with your friends because we need more. Yes. For, for Jonas and TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. For now, we are a That's called being in the zone.